Welcome to the tutorial how to connect the remote touch display Easy RTD to the Easy E4. In this video we show you how to connect the Easy RTD to the Easy E4 control relay due to the optimal adaption of the remote touch display to the Easy E4 this is easy and fast. The content of the video includes first the setting of the passwords for the Easy RTD. Second, the setting of the fixed IP addresses for the Easy RTD, PC and Easy E4. Third, the creation and transfer of a sample program in the Easy Soft programming software. Fourth, setting up the Easy RTD for continuous operation. The technical requirements are a remote touch display Easy RTD DC 4303B100, an Easy E4 basic device with firmware version greater than 1.3, the Easy Soft programming software greater than version 7.3. A license is required for the Easy Soft programming software. Software, firmware and updates can be downloaded from www.eaton.com slash software. In our example setup, the arrangement of the devices is as follows. The Easy RTD and the Easy E4 basic device are connected to the PC via an Ethernet switch. If the Easy RTD is connected to the power supply for the first time, three different passwords must be entered after the boot sequence, which must have at least six digits. First, the watcher. Here with the example password QWERTY which must be repeated afterwards. Second, the operator. Here with the example password ASDFGH, also with repetition. And third, the admin. Here with the example password ZXZVBN, which must also be repeated. After this necessary assignment of the passwords, we come to the assignment of the fixed IP address for the Easy RTD. In order to enable this to exchange data with the basic Easy E4 device later. In the example shown, fixed IP addresses in the range 192, 168, 119 are used for the devices. The last digit can be set between 0 and 255. For the Easy RTD, the end address 51 is selected here. A brief note on this. The Easy RTD and the Easy E4 are set to auto IP when delivered, which enables a direct simple connection. The variant with a fixed IP address is shown here in order to demonstrate the integration of the Easy E4 and the Easy RTD in an existing network. To be able to set the IP address, you must first log in as administrator. In our example, the password ZXZBBN must accordingly be entered. Thereafter, the address mode is to be set to static via network. In the next selection window, the address is 192, 168, 119 and 51 are defined one after the other. This is done by selecting the corresponding address location using the numeric keypad provided. In the next window, enter the subnet mask with 255, 255, 255 and 0 in the same way. The entered address settings are confirmed with apply. For control, we switch back to the first page of the network menu. In the next step, the PC is assigned to a fixed IP address in the example selected here 192, 168, 119, 60. For this purpose, go to the Network and Sharing Center of your PC. 
As a variant, the network Ethernet 3 via USB adapter is selected here. Via Properties, the Internet Protocol version 4 is selected. With the default, use the following IP address. You enter the desired IP address together with the subnet mask. Then confirm the entries with OK. Now the ECE4 must be assigned to a fixed IP address here 192.168.119.72. Open EasySoft and drag a device onto the work pane. Select version 1.3 or higher as the firmware. The tabs for the detailed properties of the device appear at the bottom. In the Ethernet tab, select the fixed IP address setting. Then enter the desired IP address and the subnet mask. Specify whether you want to allow configuration via network. Via the remote display configuration you define the access protection. In our example we allow full access via administrate. In the following step we are coming to the programming and the transfer of an example program. Select letter diagram LD as the desired programming language. Storing an Ethernet connection go via communication to IP devices search. In the search devices window that opens, select the corresponding network interface of the PC and start new search for connected devices. The existing ECE force in the selected network appear. Here only one ECE4. Select the ECE4. The current IP settings are displayed at the bottom left. If the IP address of the ECE4 differs from the IP addresses from the created project, correct the IP address now. Then transfer these settings to the ECE4. Close the window and then select the IP address of the ECE4 from the created project under Interface. The connection to the ECE4 is established via online. In the Program Configuration tab, the previously created project is then transferred from the PC to the ECE4, here only with the selected programming language. No password has been set in the project settings, so for cybersecurity reasons the prompt for password appears. In our example, no password is used. As a short test to see if the project starts. Let's create a small example program. A text block is to be called up in the display via the digital input 8. The selected text module is coupled to the appearing triangle of the digital input. Desired text display is created via the editor in the text display editor tab. A static text has to be displayed in the first line. In the second line, a running text. The remaining time of a segment on the display is higher, the greater the selected time is. In the third line, the status of the digital input 2 shall be displayed. line, the digital output has to be shown on the display with the color change. To 
display the status from the digital input to insert a bit display on the text field after the static text. To set the digital output to, a latching button is inserted on the text field behind the static text. The desired color change is selected. The selection of the color does not have to be confirmed with OK, otherwise the text display editor must be opened again for the next lines. The last line has to display the value of the analog input 3 as a bar graph. The value range is set to 0 to 4095, corresponding to the resolution of 12 bits from the analog input. The selection of the desired operand is made. For the bar graph, the background color and the amplitude of the bar graph can be assigned different colors. The background color is not used here. Done! The desired text display is confirmed with OK. To transfer the project, switch to the communication display. The connection to the EZ4 is established automatically. When the transfer is started, the security prompt appears again for cyber security reasons, since no password has been set in the project settings. No password is used in this example. The first test causes the EZ4 to still be in run mode. The safety prompt that appears must be answered with yes, otherwise the project will not be transferred. After successful transfer, the EZE4 can be restarted. The current display can be checked via the display tab. We come to the last section of this tutorial the configuration of the EasyRTD for continuous operation. For an overview of the devices now to be used with the IP addresses assigned in each case. A PC is no longer necessary here. The EasyRTD has to be connected to the EasyE4 via the setting menu. To do this, after selecting Remote EasyE4, the connection is checked for the base device using the search button. The offered IP address is accepted by tapping and a connection to the EZE4 is established in the next window. After a successful connection, the same display appears on the EZE RTD and on the EZE4 display. The test of the program takes place. The digital input 8 activates the text display. The digital output 2 is activated via the EZE RTD keyboard. The display of the status of the digital input 2 and the bar graph of the analog input 3 is tested. In the last test step, the digital output 2 is deactivated again. The display of the Easy RTD should not dim automatically, therefore the timeout is switched off. The last section shows the automatic connection of the Easy RTD to the Easy E4. The Easy RTD is connected to the Easy E4 via the settings menu using search. In the IP address window, the default configuration is now defined via the Set as Default button, which is confirmed by the Easy RTD. The admin logs out after this step. The operator should be preset when the Easy RTD is energized. For this purpose, the auto login for the operator is selected and confirmed with the operator password. ASDFGH. The, 
connection to the EZE4 is then established. To demonstrate the auto lock-in, the voltage supply from both devices is switched off and switched on again. After the boot sequence of the Easy RTD, the automatic connection of the Easy E4 is established. Since input 8 is still activated, the text block is displayed directly. Congratulations, you have successfully connected the Easy RTD remote touch display to the Easy E4.